Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Destiny Worship Center, where you matter. We are so excited you took the time to worship with us today. Please take the time to share our page with your family and friends. Also, if you have any prayer requests, let us know via chat box. Today, we start our 21-day fast, and we are believing God for some amazing testimonies. If you would like to partner with Destiny financially, as we continue to do Kingdom's work, you can give to the following ways. You can give in the following ways. You can give by Giveify, and as Destiny Worship Center in Lancashire, Texas, you can give through Cash App at dollar sign Destiny WCC2, and also our website, which is www.dwccc.org. Or you can just drop it off site at 11.30 to 12.30. Let's go to God right now in prayer. God, bless the hearers of your word today. Bless the songs lifted to you and the sermon brought to you, Lord. We are so excited about what you have in store for us today. Lord, we just want to thank you for everything. We love you. Just give you all the praise and the glory, Lord. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
song. I don't want to percolate the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to make you smile. I don't care who thinks I'm right or wrong. I don't care who tries to calm me down. I just want to Yeah. Uh -huh.
helps us in this narrative to put on the whole armor of God. And as I was um, purveying this pericope, um, I saw that he was uh, attempting to convey to us um, that no one can put your armor on for you. Not only that, but there comes a time when you have to stop making excuses for why your armor is still in its spiritual closet. Why, why is your breastplate still hanging up? Why, why does your helmet have dust on it? Why, why don't you have anything on your feet? Why, why is your shield in the trash can? Why, why did you stop praying? And please don't tell God it was because of life. Got hard. Don't 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 tell him it was because funds got low. Don't 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 tell him because it was because you got tired or or it was because you was just trying to make ends meet or it was because you were working overtime or or you just had too much on your plate. Because the truth of the matter is, as much as you would like to think that you are the only one who has ever gone through what you're going through, you're not. You're not the only one or the first one to be broke. You're not the only one or the first one to, to be lonely or, or to do time or to feel confused or depressed or, or get your heart crushed or have your feelings hurt or, or, or to have somebody die on you or lie on you. You're not the first and you're not going to be the last. But here's where the rubber hits the road. Um, um, none of these are reasons to hate your heart on the willow tree. God told me to tell you no matter what you're going through, you still got to live, you still got to survive, you still got to thrive, you still got to move forward, you still got to make a difference. I, I know you want somebody on this morning to wipe your tears and, and wipe your boo-boos and tell you everything was going to be all right, but God told me to tell you this morning to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God told me to tell you to stand on your ancestors' shoulders and trust in the Lord with all of your heart And, and all 
these things will be added unto you. You missed it. I missed it the first time you watched this. But Matthew is saying it's really deep. Um, watch this. He's saying the word seek means you can approach God in one of two ways. You can, you can approach God in your own strength. Or you can approach him in your own, in, in his strength. Uh, but, but, but when we use our strength, it may or may not work. God, but when we use uh, God's strength, um, we have just told our enemies, uh, our enemies and our haters, from this point, I can't lose God. Uh, from this point, I'm going to trust God to work out everything in all areas of my life. When you allow God to work in all areas of your life, you have just taken the limits off of God's access because even the things that don't seem to be going your way right now have got to turn around. God, God, the chaotic things, the, the storms have got to cease. The haters have got to hope because he said in his word, as long as we're in his will, that he would cause all things, God, to work together for our good. My sister, my sister, my sister. You gotta get on this bus, you gotta get on this bus, what says in, in systematic theology, the Catholic um, theologian um, Thomas uh, Aquinas um, uh, uh, coined the phrase uh, of God as the uncaused cause. Oh God, God, his premise, God, what says, is that while everything else we see is a result of a cause. That God is the only being not caused by anything, but causes everything. Uh, I'm going to back it up one more time. His, his, his premise is that God is the uncaused cause. That, that, that God is the only being that does not have a cause. That everything else we see is a result of a cause. And the result of that cause is because of the uncaused. So what this is telling us is that God is the cause of everything. Yeah. Okay, you know what I mean? Um, um, that, that if we are willing to trust God, but we can't even trace God, that he will start causing some things to happen that don't even make sense. God, <laughs> he, he will cause you to be able to make bricks with no strong. He will, he will cause you to be able to build a country in which you were brought over as slaves. He will cause you to be to make boss moves even though they try to beat you down. He will cause you to prosper with little or nothing. He will cause you to raise college graduates even though you only got a GED. He will, he will cause you to become president of the United States even though there are people who are still terrified of the skin you're in. He will cause When you take off 
your own breastplate. When, when we take off our own breastplate, um, we leave our heart open for the enemy to crush it and taint it and scar it, which, which then causes us to end up with Christians who are saved but sometimes act like they're sinners. Saved but cuss. Saved but drink. Saved but snort. Saved. Saved. Um, but, but, but living like they never knew God. And, and it's, it's, it's simply because they took their best plate off and now they have allowed their heart to become tainted by toxic people and toxic situations. That, that, that's what happened with David when he had Uriah killed. My God, he took off his breast plate. That, that's what happened with Samson when he started shacking up with Delilah and told her all his secrets. He had taken his breast plate off. That's what happened when I decided to go to Kmart and decided to steal with the homies. I had taken my breast plate off. And don't act like you so cute that you can't ever go there and take your breast plate off and get caught doing something you thought you'd never do. All of us, the Bible says, have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The only time you sinned is when you took your breast plate off. The only time you act a fool is when you take your breast plate off. The only time you slam the doors is when you take your breast plate off. God told me to tell somebody, don't leave home without God. Yeah. I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking at it. And I'm all, Paul refers us to having shoes which are connected to peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Um, and I did some research and I found out that the Roman soldiers' shoes had steel plates on the top of them. But, but that's not the important part for me. The important part was what was under uh, the shoes. <laughs> under the shoes, they, they had spikes. And um, the, the reason why this was so important was because um, the, the spikes under their shoes uh, kept them from slipping. <laughs> uh, somebody said, okay, what does any of this have to do with me having peace? That's a good question here. It is, don't miss it. Because um, the main thing that eradicates peace in our lives is when we get caught slipping. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. When we let our guards down, when we fall for the okie doke, when, when, when we're not at our post, when we're not accountable or responsible, when, when we're not paying attention, when we should be, we can get caught slipping in and, and do some things we normally wouldn't do. And we will find ourselves when we slip um, with no peace in our proximity. Yeah. Uh, uh, could, could, could the reason you have no peace be because you got caught slipping and stopped praying. Come on. Could, could, could the reason God doesn't seem to be present is because you keep blaming him for being absent when you're the one who moved. Come on. God, God, God is saying if you want peace, you need to make sure he's present. And to make sure he's present, we need to stop slipping, God. Okay, okay, okay. Paul said, um, he, he, he told the Ephesians, he said, look, not only um, are you survivors, but, but, but God has empowered you to be thrivers. Because Paul understood that we are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us. And, and because of this, he attempts to deal with a physical shield, which he equates in the spiritual to be the shield of faith. God, don't miss this. Um, he wants us to see that initially we were preparing for battle, but now it's time to engage the enemy. God, put in the atmosphere and put on uh, uh, in the chat. Put it and say it's time to fight. God, God, I, God, go, go ahead. Don't be scared. Put, put in it's time to fight. If you really want to go to the next level, put in it's time to fight. If you really are tired of going around in circles, put in it's time to fight. Watch this. Our faith has to have the tenacity and the sagacity uh, to stand up when we would rather sit down. And because of this, the first piece of equipment he introduces us to is the shield of faith. 
And the shield of faith extinguishes the fiery darts of the enemy. <laughs> oh, believe me. Um, the shield of faith is a shield of trust. The, the word of God tells us that we are to walk by faith and not by, go on and finish it, sight, that's right. Um, uh, uh, and we walk by faith by putting our trust in God. The, the word of God uh, uh, tells us we need to understand that every now and then, God will put you in a position or allow you to get in a situation where your walk lines up with your talk. Yes. Because anybody can say, they trust God. Anybody can say that God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Anybody can say they're blessed and highly favored. Anybody can say that they're fearfully and wonderfully made. But, but here it is. Here's where the rubber hits from. Can you say it when the lights go out? To God. Can, can you say it when your heart just got broke? Can, can you say it while you're on welfare? Can, can you say it uh, making minimum wage? Can you say it after you get laid off? after 30 years? Can you say it after getting a pink slipper, after getting an eviction notice, after getting a repossession? Can you say it with no food in the house? Oh, 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 you all saved and, and, and ha ha he he when, when, the, when the refrigerator is full, but, 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 but can you say it after you lose somebody you love? Yes, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, you praising God now, but, but, but can you praise him after you get a bad doctor's report? The, the, the question that Paul is trying to get us to answer it is, is can you say it? That we walk by faith and not by sight? Jesus. When you can't even see God. <laughs> can, can you trust God when you can't even trace him? The, the, the shield of faith says, even when I can't feel you, I believe you. Even, even when, when the training wheels, God, of life fall off, I trust you. Even, the, the shield of faith says, uh, through many dangers, uh, uh, toils and snares, I, I have already come. Was, was grace that brought me safe? Before grace will lead me on because Recognizes. Okay, I um, I found out uh, uh, that there were two types of shields carried by the Roman soldier. The, the first one was a little small round shield called an uh, aspis. The second uh, is is a shield called a, a thurios, which was a full body a shield. The, the small uh, shield, the aspis, was a, a light. A uh, small round shield. It was a, a light, small round shield. I'm gonna get you in. The, the, the first shield was a small, light, round shield. It, it, uh, it was a lightweight. Maybe you say lightweight. Go on and put it in the mind. Say lightweight. The, the first shield was a lightweight. Are you walking with me? Uh, in, in other words, you would use that shield for lightweight problems, God. You, you, you will use a lightweight shield for, for minor things. Are you walking with me? But, but then the second shield was called a thurios, and it was a, a full length shield. Paul, Paul, Paul said the shield was, was large enough for the, for the whole soldier to get behind it. And, and the reason uh, Paul is addressing not just a soldier, but he was addressing the whole church of Ephesus corporately because um, an army is not a single person. An army is the whole person. The army is everybody connected. So Paul said, I'm not just talking to one saint. I'm talking to the saints of Ephesus. The saints of Ephesus need to put on the whole armor of God and get behind the story of the, the whole God, the whole God, the whole shield. Because sometimes you don't get hit with a minor problem. But God, you, sometimes you get hit with some major stuff. So, sometimes you get hit with MS. Sometimes you get hit with cancer. Sometimes you get hit with diabetes. Sometimes you get hit with COVID. Sometimes you get 
I'm missing some. Um, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We do this, we go home. Um, if you just hunkered behind the thorough shield, um, there was still the possibility uh, that you might get hit from different angles. But in that day, the shield had an attachment on each side called the phalanx. And what the phalanx did was, my shield would connect with my homie shield. <laughs> and my homie shield would, would connect with his homie shield. So, so that everybody's shield was connected. In other words, I wasn't in this thing by myself. <laughs> and that's what the enemy wants to make you think. That you in this thing called life by yourself. But God told me to tell somebody, you need to hook up with somebody who trusts God like you trust God. And, and believe God like you believe God. And, Oh, because because they were in relationship. You know what I'm saying? The, the shields were in relationship. God, God, God. So so I couldn't move unless you was ready to move in, and you couldn't move unless because we was connected. Like, okay, yeah, that's it. They still not getting it, John. Um, that's it. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Hear this. Hear this. Um, when I was uh, getting my master's. At TCU, I was doing some research outside of a professor's office, and uh, and the professor's office that, that I was doing the work out of was an internationally renowned professor. He was he was he was a bad cat, and 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 so a new student um, comes in the office, and I can hear the conversation. And the new student comes up to the professor and said, "Professor, I am just so honored to meet you." I read all about you. I've read all of your, your documents. I've read all of your literature. I've, I've read all of your books. I've, I've read everything that's been published about you. And I'm just so honored to meet you because I've I read so much about you. And while the new student was talking to the professor, all of a sudden this little girl runs by security. <laughs> little girl runs by me. Little girl runs by the new student and hops in the professor's lap. And the little girl says, you know I love you.
tell somebody uh, don't come to him over what you heard. Start coming to him over what you know. What you talking about? What what do I know about God? Thank you, Lord. You know he woke you up? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. This morning Jesus. started you on your way. What, what, what do I know about God, Pastor? You know he's been so good to you that you don't even pay attention to your inhales and your exhales.
in to us. This is my body that is going to be broken. 